Right now we're following some breaking news. A Texas newspaper has published a portion of surveillance video taken during the Uvalde school massacre. The clip posted on the Austin American Statements website shows officers retreating from gunfire inside Robb Elementary School. This video was planned to be released this weekend in Uvalde. 19 students and two teachers were killed in May when a gunman opened fire. Officers arrived at the scene within minutes, but waited for about 77 minutes before breaching a door and killing the gunman. This newly released video from inside Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, has painted a disturbing picture of how officers waited and waited to go inside a classroom and confront the gunman. Now a retired Jacksonville SWAT officer gives us his insight into what unfolded. Retired officer Jared Reston has been on manhunts for murder suspects, and he's been shot and wounded by suspects himself. He now trains law enforcement in tactics and safety. We went to him today with the video from inside the May 24th school shooting that left 19 children and two teachers dead. This evening, we're also looking at local efforts to improve school safety. We begin with News 4 Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker, who spoke with retired officer Reston. Marilyn? Yeah, plain and simple. He said those officers did not do their job. I spoke with him within the last 45 minutes. Take a listen to what he had to say. What was your initial reaction? Uh, disappointment. I mean, that's, I mean, it's, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't do what they signed, you know, signed up to do. They didn't do it. I think that they pushed initially. They got kind of shot off the doorway by the suspect and they acted cowardice and ran. And then from that point on, they even had like chiefs of police, like their chief telling them, hold on, it's a barricade. And, which, yes, it's true, he is, it's not actively going on right now, but there are people bleeding inside that room and you have to get in there to save their lives, right? I mean, they're bleeding out, so their life is leaving their body. So we, you're on that time schedule where you gotta push and they didn't push. When is the time to engage? Then. And they didn't. They put their life over the lives of children. They, 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 they stayed safe. And it, you know, it, it's it's sad that they did that. But you know, not everybody's created the same. And it took you know some guys with with probably more training and more experience of doing stuff to push in there and actually go do do the job. There's parts in the video with like a guy goes to the hand sanitizer and and like washes his hands because he's just in code black. He is stressed way above his limits and he doesn't know what the heck's going on and i bet you you could probably ask him and he doesn't ever remember doing that he how can a community be reinsured that this won't happen again if we have someone with swat experience for 17 years saying that they should have engaged but they didn't do it that's i mean it's it's sad that they they did what they did and you can't there is no reassurance that it will never happen again because it's just it's sometimes it's just a roll of the dice who shows up there that day because their training didn't tell them to run away that's that's the truth. And coming up tonight on News for Jacks at 10, I speak with the police chief for Clay County Schools. He talks about what he wants to do differently in his department after seeing this video. And he also sends a message saying everybody in his department, including himself, they will engage. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. The horror takes place off screen. It is the only mercy shown in a security video that plays out in real time as a gunman walks into the Rob Elementary School intent on mass murder. A child, at first curious and then scared, watches him pass and then as the shooting starts, runs for his life. We have muted the sound of gunfire the screams of children have been removed from the tape. The kids are running! But recorded on an outside camera, a teacher's call to emergency services and her desperate instruction to the children she cannot protect. Get in, get in your room! Get in your room! Within minutes, the police respond. They advance down the corridor towards the killer before another volley of shots sends them scurrying back. 20 minutes on and heavily armed officers, some with shields, are at the scene, but with seemingly no plan or sense of urgency. One sheriff uses a hand sanitizer, while a few meters away the killer is still in the classroom. 
by now, parents were begging the police to end the carnage. But that didn't happen until almost 80 minutes after the first shots were fired. 19 children and two teachers lay dead. The video was due to be made public as part of an inquiry into police errors, but it's been leaked by a local newspaper before parents could see it, adding to their distress. We want justice for our kids and for this to be let out without us even being seen first. We are the parents that lost our children. Who do you think you are to release footage like that of our children who can't even speak for themselves, but you want to go ahead and air their final moments to the entire world? The search for truth has instead compounded the grief. John Ray, ITV News.